morning. Hope you're doing well today. I pray God's blessings upon you as we go through this day. The Bible says it's another day that God has given us and made, and, and uh, we're to be thankful and rejoice in it. And I pray today that you'll do that and show the world that there is still hope, but only in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. With all the turmoil that's going on over in the Middle East and Jerusalem and, and Israel, um, we know tonight that Israel is under attack by their enemies. And their enemies, the only thing they wanted to do is wipe Israel off the map. And um, it's been that way for years. But we're told in the Word of God that those are God's people, His chosen people. And we've seen many times where their enemies have tried to destroy them and wipe them off the face of this earth and have failed and they'll not succeed and we're told in the bible you know he told abraham i will bless those who bless you and i'll curse those who curse you but i want you to look in psalms 122 and i'm going to read from starting in verse 6 through the end of the chapter which is verse 9 this is psalms 122 starting in verse 6 pray for the peace of jerusalem they shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sake, I will now say peace be within thee. Because of the house of the Lord, our God, I will seek thy good. We're commanded here, we're told to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And we need to do that today, church. We need to be praying for their leaders to be protected, for their people to be protected, for their allies, such as the United States. Thank to God we're still supporting them. Uh, we'll come to their aid if, if asked. And that uh, we want to see peace. We want to see God's chosen people taken care of. And the Bible says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. When you do that, when you pray for God's people, you're going to be blessed of God because he said, I'll bless those that bless you and I'll curse those that curse you. So tonight when you pray or any time during your day when you pray, let's pray for God's people. Let's pray for peace. Let's pray for their leadership. Let's pray for the protection of their, their nation. And not only that, but Jews all over the world will come under attack because of what's going on. So we need to pray for God's chosen people today and lift him up. And not only that, we need to pray for the enemies because, you know, they're people who are going to spend eternity someone too, somewhere too. And the Bible says we're not to rejoice when our, our enemy fails, falleth, because, folks, that's somebody going to hell. We need to pray that somehow, some way, they will see a need to change their life and recognize Jesus for who he is because they have a soul too. But we need, as children of God, to be praying for Jerusalem tonight. And I ask you to please do that. It says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. God, we thank you today, Lord, for who you are and for what your word tells us. And God, we do this tonight. We pray for the nation of Israel who are under attack by their enemies. God, who are facing com uh, just a, an assault of rockets and, and people being killed, on, not even, just innocent civilians being killed, women, men, and children. God, we pray for the peace for their country. We pray for the protection of their leaders. God, we pray that our nation will continue to support Israel. And may the churches around the world pray for Israel tonight and lift them up to you. God, we just give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. God, may all things tonight be done to honor you. And Lord, we'll be careful to give you the praise and the glory for it all in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you today. Thank you for watching these devotions and may God richly bless you today is my prayer. <music>